Hello fans and welcome to the Lee Weekly Spotlight presented by Landmark Insurance Group. I'm Kensington Wheeland. And I'm Carmen Lastoria. Today we begin the show with the women's basketball team. On Friday they made history winning the first NCAA tournament game in program history with a 66-64 victory over North Alabama in the regional quarterfinals. The Lady Flames would come up just short in the regional semifinals against Valdosta State as they saw a nine-point lead slip away late, eventually losing. 63 to 57 in overtime. Senior Aaron Walsh went out in style and was named the NCAA South Region second team and the Cosida Academic All-America first team. Walsh is six in Lee history with 1,824 career points and holds a perfect 4.0 GPA. Kensington, she's been excelling on the court and in the classroom. Definitely a real key to this team. Way to go, Lady Flames. Another phenomenal season in the books. Absolutely. Emily Bualda finished fifth in the 800-meter run, and Josiah Brooks was eighth in the triple jump to earn first-team All-American honors at the NCAA Division II Indoor Track Championships on Saturday. Bualda becomes the first Lee University female athlete to earn first-team All-American honors. Justin Brooks also competed in the 400-meter and was named a second-team All-American. Yeah, congratulations to Emily, as you mentioned, first female athlete. We've had a couple of others who have been All-Americans, either honorable mention or second team, but she's the first to earn first team honors. Uh, quite an accomplishment. Definitely. Moving on now to the Lee baseball team. They swept past Bellarmine in a pair of non-conference games last week before taking one of three down at Mississippi College in what was a wild series. Both teams holding leads, blowing leads. Eventually, the Flames would drop two of three on that road trip. They're currently 10 and 13 and are 4 and 5 in the GSC. They'll head down to Union this weekend. The softball team ended a six game losing streak with a dominating 11 to 2 victory over Mississippi College in game two of their doubleheader on Saturday. The Lady Flames are 12 and 13 overall and 5 and 7 in league play with a midweek twin bill against King scheduled on Wednesday before they head to Union over the weekend. How about lacrosse? Another dominating victory against Nyack College on Thursday, 18-8, before they fell to Montevallo in GSC action last Saturday, 24-16. Becca Broadwick has been a huge addition to the team this year. She has 31 goals and 5 assists, while Kaylin Dillon is second on the team with 18 goals and 5 assists. The Lady Flames will travel to Reinhardt on Wednesday, and they'll jump back into GSC play with a visit to rival Shorter on Saturday. And how's this for an exciting spring break? The men's tennis team went 2-1 down in Orlando during their spring break tournament and are now 6-3 on the year, while the women won both matches they played down in Florida and are 6-2 overall. The Flames will host Alabama Huntsville on Wednesday, while the Lady Flames will visit the Chargers on Thursday. Yeah, great starts for both the men's and women's tennis teams. And speaking of good starts, the men's golf team has climbed all the way up to number 10th, number 10 in the latest golf stat top 25 rankings, while the women are number 19. Congratulations, guys. That will do it for this week's edition of Lee Weekly Spotlight. For Carmen Lastoria, I'm Kensington Whelan. Have a great week and go Flames.